Hi everyone, this is Greg from Zoho Expert and today I'm going to be doing a real quick video on webhooks and just how powerful they are and how they can help your business. Um, so first things first, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel and please comment below. That really helps uh, with the YouTube algorithm. The more people comment in the, in the videos, um, the more YouTube shows our videos to other people and uh, we've been getting some great feedback from people that the content we make is helpful. Um, but you know, a lot of people on Reddit have been saying that, but hardly anyone's actually saying it on YouTube. So shout out to our biggest fan who's commented on one of our videos. Uh, first comment ever. Thank you very much and uh, really appreciate it. But to everyone else, please comment below, like our video, subscribe to our channel. That will really help us grow. Anyway, onwards and upwards with today's video. So um, let's see, folks. Um, the best way for me to show you um, webhooks is going to be using Zoho Flow. Um, so we're going to log into Zoho Flow and we are going to, um, there we go, and we're going to set up a new flow which is going to fire every time a webhook is actioned. So this will just be called um, example webhook. Okay, so how this works is we're going to select webhook from here and we're going to click configure. I think Zoho Flow is just taking a minute to load. There we go. Now, this is our webhook. OK, so this is what we'll feed into the other service that we want to send us data. So this might be your cart software on your website if you've got an e-commerce site or it might be um, a third party service that you use for, say, appointment bookings. It could be anything. If you see the option for webhooks within any third party service, this is where you come to get the webhook to put into their um, service. Um, so I'm going to show you some examples of how we'll work with this. So the first thing is it wants to test the webhook. So in other words, it wants to check that it's receiving data. So a quick way to do this is just to open up a URL bar, paste in the webhook and hit and because it's already got the question mark here at the beginning um, where you see it's got the zappy key and it might have some other parameters. Yes, is debug false? So we're just adding on to the end of this queue. So we're saying and, which is the ampersand symbol, and we're gonna say uh, data one equals test and data two equals test two, and then we click enter. Okay, so we're gonna see nothing on our side, but if we go back into Zoho Flow, you'll see that this data has been now delivered to our webhook. So I'm just doing that as an example to show you how data gets sent here. So if you're writing a custom web app and you are, say for instance, you're working in um, HTML or PHP code, um, inside your service, you can use the um, curl um, functionality to um, send a post uh, a post of data to this address and you can just append your uh, variables and data to that. But for those of us who are less techie, there are much easier ways for us to work with webhooks. So now we've got our webhook, we can go into something like CRM, for example. Now I'm just going to open my CRM in another window just in case I've got some real client data on display. We don't want to see that. OK, and I'll go to the settings page. All right. So now I'm on settings up here to get to settings. And um, let's do this based on a workflow. So I'm assuming people know how to use workflows. But if you don't, then um, look at some of my previous videos because I show you how to use workflows, uh, for example, in the video about receiving data from clients. Um, but but in a lot of my videos, I'll include stuff about workflows. OK, so we're going to create a rule and this rule is going to be based on the uh, let's do it based on the products. Um, uh, the products module because there's no private data in products and we say on edit um, send to a uh, webhook and I like to include where this webhook is so I'll say Zoho flow webhook okay now what we're going to say is on a record action uh, when it's edited repeat whenever this uh, product is edited 
and um, I'm going to say now bear in mind that this is quite risky for you to do because it could then ping every single time you make any edits to your product it's going to ping your web flow and that could use up your resources on Zoho because you get a limit as to how many different web hooks and flows and all that sort of stuff you can use but this is just for testing purposes um, so we're going to say next now we're just going to say on all products send the data to the webhook okay and here we're going to go webhook so now we paste in the webhook from zoho flow yeah so this is the one i got from here here yeah, this one yeah and we're going to paste it in here we're going to name this send product to zoho flow webhook and uh, you can put a description in if you want to. Now we can add in standard format parameters. So that's where we say, okay, well, let's get the product ID and let's name this product ID. And we will get the um, product name. And we'll get the, um, let's see here, unit price. Okay, I'm not going to go through and do all of these because I don't want to bore you folks. Um, you can also add um, user defined parameters. So you can put something in here yourself. So, um, you know, user defined. And then here you can write a long thing. So you can write uh, this product is. And then you can use the hash or number symbol um, to bring up this list. And you can pull in things. So you can get the product name. We are testing uh zoho flow web hooks okay and you can add more things you can add lots of different things see here let's put in the uh unit price again uh so the unit price of this product is there we go and uh you can add custom parameters now here you can't use the hash symbol so here you can just say um, uh, webhook uh, location and then sent from Zoho CRM web uh, workflow on edit of products. Okay, so now we can save and associate. Yeah, save. Now, if we go to our products page. there are our products so we're going to create a new product um, so that i don't mess with any of my existing products um, so let's just call this test product and uh, i don't know if we had a product code but let's call this test 001 product category we'll call this one-off training uh, unit price we'll call this 500 and tax will say no VAT uh, because Zoho Expert is not VAT registered. Uh, description, test product for uh, web hook video. And we're gonna save this. Now, nothing should happen um, at this point because we've just created it. Now, the web hook only fires when we edit a, um, a uh, product and that's based on our um, uh, web web flow that we have set up here um, these words are so similar it confuses me sometimes but uh, just bear with me so we've got our workflow rule and our workflow rule is on edit send uh, Zoho flow webhook okay and I should actually change this to say on edit products uh, send to Zoho flow uh, webhook so now we're going to edit this product so we're going to say test product edited okay and our flow we are busy testing the webhook so when I save this the edit should run and then the web uh, the web flow should work uh, uh, sorry the workflow should work and then it's, there we go it has sent our data to Zoho flow um, so it's really that simple and now that the data is in here we can do anything with it so for example we might want to go add uh, oh, this is so slow when I tap the wrong thing so we're going to go Zoho 
and then we'll go down to Zoho CRM. And we're just going to do something really simple here. We are going to make a task. Uh, create module entry and we want to create a task and we're going to just say product updated now we can get the data from the product now this here is only sending through the data that we sent through using this webhook so if you click on here you can see this is the data that we're sending through there it all is there so if you want, you can add loads more information and you can send everything from the record by just adding extra things in here. Let's add another thing. Let's add the description. There we go. OK. And now in future, when this webhook fires or when the web, uh, when the workflow fires, it will fire the data across to the webhook and the webhook will now receive the product description as well. Um, so product updated, product name and price. There we go. And then due date in Zoho Flow, you've got these handy system variables. So today's date is here and today's date and time is here. Because if you see the time and the date needs to be in a very weird format, it's quite difficult to get this right. And we often have to write custom scripts to change the time that comes in from other sites um, to make it fit with the Zoho way of writing the time in. This is just a web standard, but a lot of websites don't send you the time and date in a web standard like this. Uh, you need any help with that comment down below we'd be happy to help you um, now I think that's all we need um, let's just um, put our uh, let me see the user defined in here as the description and the webhook location um, so this task was created by and then this will tell us where the webhook was from okay so we do done we go uh, turn the web the flow on and now if we go back to our um, product and we edit this again let's just go test product and save you'll see the webhook the workflow is now running in the background and it's sending the data to this webhook and if we look here it has created a task for us so the data came in it made the task and it successfully created the task. Um, but you can do a million different things with this. So all of these apps down the side here, you can interact with, and you can even interact with the web uh, hooks from other sites. So you can have the web hook fire to here, and then you can send it off to several different web hooks using custom functions. It's honestly limitless what you can do with this. Um, so web hooks are so powerful. Uh, we use a lot of web hooks on our custom system for our real estate business. Um, when we're booking appointments, when we're receiving feedback from people, when we're updating things across modules webhooks are phenomenal and i could talk all day about them but this is just an introduction to webhooks please comment below if you've got any questions we'd love to help honestly it gives us ideas for making new videos and we just love helping people so let us know and we would be happy to tell you more about how this works uh, like the video please comment below and subscribe to our channel thanks a lot